let's do it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Eating Well with Muriel. Today we are doing the fourth of our the fourth and last of our Christmas specials, which is our apple cake. Delicious apple cake. And let me show you what we have for ingredients. Five to six apples, you can use golden delicious. I like to mix my apple because I like different tastes. Four eggs, a cup of milk. mixed milk and cream, but you can do 2%, skim, whichever you'd like. Or even almond milk is fine. A cup of maple syrup, a little bit less than a cup. One and a half cups of flour. We use gluten-free baking flour, so you yep. don't need xanthan gum. Five and a half tablespoons of melted butter. A half a cup of the little pomegranate seeds for decoration. Yeah, and just remember, use an extra tablespoon of butter to butter your mold. I would actually have a little lemon because I'm, when I'm going to use my mandolin to do the apple, I'll squeeze lemon to stop them from browning. Oh. They're back. We're working today. <laughs> oh, not, oh, no. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get them back. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, look. Oh, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Of course, your apple and washed, dry cleaned. Oh. You knew that. Okay. <laughs> Nice, right? Okay, let's do all of them. I did not peel them because I actually like the little skin and I think it's full of fiber. You can peel if you don't like the skin. Remember, this is all gonna be cooked. The oven is at 355. This preparation usually takes about 20 minutes max. It's usually way faster when I cook. And Chloe too, because we like to, things to be super fast. And then uh, in the oven for an hour at 355. Oh, this is hard. This one's hard, right? Ah, uh, okay, we're not using that. green apples. So let me just try oh, yeah, a I'm little. Okay, stab in the eye with an antler. Okay, look at this. I have a mandolin. If you do not, you can you cut it yourself. Some people have a Cuisinart. You can put it in there and slice it directly. But I like the mandolin. It's not that bad. You can put your apple on that thing, so be very cautious. Okay, save the prettiest for the top, obviously. Okay, and look at this. We're gonna add a little lemon juice on our apple to keep them from browning. So what we start with is crack the egg and we're gonna beat them up. Okay, you beat those up like an omelette. So let's add the butter. So syrup. You could use an electric mixer for this, of course. Yeah. Okay, now is where it gets tricky because you don't want to have those clump. What we're gonna do now is butter our little tray. We're gonna make a mini cake, large cake. Not bad, girl. Nice. You didn't believe in me. I know. <laughs> At least you admit it. So this cake is like what we call in France clafoutis but we're just making a different version, a bit more fun that cook easier. So you take one of your apple. Okay, make sure your batter is always pretty well mixed, right? And you are just gonna put it all over. Okay, so look at this, our beautiful cake an hour later. Before it went in the oven, it looked like a heart, but we realized that that pan was leaking everywhere, so we had to swap it into a circular pan. <laughs> Very sad. Oh, wow. It like really is a cake. Right? Whoa. Okay, you normally would wait, not like us, that it Ooh. cools off, <laughs> so the batter, you know what I mean. Gets all yeah, cakey. Wow. Yeah. Usually I sprinkle oh, cute pomegranate. Oops, it's yummy. Mm. You could also sprinkle little leaves of uh, mint. Mm. I'm gonna have it from here. <laughs> oh wow. You know what it tastes like? Like a thick crepe. In France, we make this cake called clafouti. 
So it's just way more Whoa, fruitier yeah. than butter. You know what I mean? Because it's a huge cake, so it's just more like a crepe. That totally tastes exactly like a crepe. Wow, that's so good. And, and it's healthier than a crepe because it's what, less breading. Yeah, totally. Stuff. Very little and also tons of apple. And we actually reduced, we just put maple syrup. You can even reduce that. I'm not big on sugar, so. Oh my God, Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching Eating Well with Muriel and Chloe today and our holiday special dessert. So nice to have you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click the like button, click the red button to subscribe down below. Get my books. The link for that is also in the description. And um, happy healthy holidays to you. Oh yeah, this is our last of the Christmassy things. So. Next time we will be doing diet things so you recover after yes, the holidays exactly. because not all recipes are like mine. <laughs> Bye. Bye.